I used watercolour because we were in a little cottage and I think like a lot of people who want to start painting, they get very nervous and they think oh, watercolour's easy because you can do it on the kitchen table with a little bottle of water and a tiny box of paints and it's not messy uh, and they do it and they don't realise that it's the most difficult thing you could start with. I suppose I've always liked drawing. Um, it was amazing because uh, when I did uh, my exams, my first exams, the only time I ever got any marks was when I did some drawing. So for instance, uh, for chemistry, uh, I got five for a drawing of a Bunsen burner, uh, which should have told me something really, that, I, that I'd only got one path and that was to be an artist. But. I got a job and uh, for 20 odd years I worked in planning um, and so painting for me was really just on holiday and I'd be take a pencil with me and a few things but it was nothing serious because it's hard to, to be serious about something like that if you're short of time. I started seriously painting um, when I was in Cornwall once, uh, it was raining course and uh, my husband had bought me this, these paints and um, I painted, I went through some magazines and I found a, a photograph uh, of a nude which I found very very interesting with the, the shoulders, I was interested in the way the shoulders were placed and I did a very very quick painting of it, it took me only about an hour or so and I still think that's one of the best paintings I've ever done. And so my life's been in two halves the first half in a nine to five job and the second half uh, as a professional artist. And it was the best decision I've ever made. A big breakthrough for it was seeing um, the film, uh, A Bigger Splash, David Hockney's film. And I, I, was, I was absolutely amazed because it, he would have a, a canvas on the wall and he'd put a photograph project the photograph and then he'd draw around the edge of everything and I thought my goodness you can do anything I hadn't realized that you could literally do anything he was a famous artist and he'd done it and it was all right you know so I could do that too The interesting thing that happened when I moved from doing just floral painting into uh, still life, um, I was working on a picture one day and it was just a, a simple fruit bowl and I, I, had, I had started on the apples so I hadn't done anything to do with the fruit bowl or anything and I just went on doing the apples. I didn't stop and I thought well, somewhere I've got to get the edge of this fruit bowl in. Uh, but I thought, no, no I'll, just, I'll just keep going. So I went on and on. And of course, by the time I'd put the fruit bowl in, it went uh, behind one of the apples. So the apples were actually dropping out of the fruit bowl. There was no perspective there because where, where the heck were they going? I don't know where they were going. They were going on the table. But that was the first time that I broke uh, the rule of painting of actually what was in front of me in the same way. Um, and also I tipped the fruit bowl a little so that I love to see the pattern on things. Well, you couldn't see the pattern if it was sideways on, but if you tipped it up, you could see the pattern. So that was important. What was it I liked about it? I liked the pattern. So it ended up with the fruit all dropping out. Well, the awful thing was, of course, that you know, a few years later, I was looking at a Cezanne book and I thought, oh, look, Cezanne's done the same as me because he, he got apples falling out of the fruit bowl. <laughs> It's been amazing to discover that if I took a photograph with my iPad on the painting as it was going along, I could then judge how it was going and the best bit of all was at the end, I could decide on how I was going to finish it.
This, this yellow links the whole thing, whereas the black section divided it. So you've got this, and then you've got lovely, lovely plain colour. You've got air, you've got space above it, and you've got some space at the bottom as well. So it's divided into three sections, which I think works much better than this, this section here. My love of drawing has never really left me. Uh, right from when that little girl used to sit on the sofa with a pencil drawing pussycats and things. So these recent drawings have been very nice, uh, in, uh, most enjoyable for me to do. I mean, I, I don't think uh, my public, as I call it, I, I don't think they're so keen on that. They, they really want me to go back to the full color flowers and still life, which they love but um, it's not going to stop me doing it because I love it so much. <laughs>